What up, Fluff Butts? Foxy here, and welcome to the inaugural first episode of what we're calling for now Forks Talks. Whoop, whoop. Yes, thank yes, you, Sky. You're welcome. Uh, so, Forks Talks is basically a little bit of a podcast slash vodcast kind of thing, depending on where you're watching it from. For those of you who don't know, vodcast, I'm coining the term for video on demand, as in podcast playable on demand. I'm fairly sure vodcast already existed. I've never heard of it before. Yeah, no, I'm fairly really sure it exists. I've never heard it of it, so it's mine. I don't care. I, 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 this sign won't stop me because I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Anyway, so uh, each episode I'm going to have a different guest. Uh, we're going to hopefully do this every fortnight or so, depending how we get into it. But my first uh, my first guest is Sky Hello. from Sky High Studios. How are you doing, Sky? Good. How are you? Yeah, stressed. Um, stressed. Well, you know, I've already been hanging out here for an hour trying to get this yeah, sorted, no, that's, but that's here we true. go. Here we are. <coughs> and coughing already. Ugh, it's hard to breathe in this. I love the suit, but it's hard to breathe sometimes. Yeah, well, my, my ventilation hole is like that tiny. Oh. Like when I remake her, it'll be good. It'll be good because I'll be able to <laughs> breathe again. It'll be excellent. So you, you're remaking her, are you? Yeah, well, I want to get her done for 30, but like I have this full suit to finish, then the next full suit to finish, and then four mini partials, like a million and two tails and other table stock. But uh, that's getting all done before I start Sky. The life of a maker. Mm, anyway. It never stops. <laughs> so each, uh, the way this works is uh, each episode will have a general theme of the um, thing that we'll start off with. I'll introduce my guests, have a bit of a chat, and then get into the theme, and then just banter from there. And then at the end, we're going to wrap it up with... Uh, I'm going to ask Sky to, or my guests, what, for the episode, to um, tell me their favourite meme, and we're going to try and recreate it with them in it, so, Ooh. just for a bit of fun. So I'll try, I'll try to give you an easy one, at least. Yeah, please. <laughs> no, like, crazy, like, space jump memes, I can't... No. Knock, knock I, I don't want to torture you with greens with Alpha King. Oh, that's, they're fine. I, I don't mind green screens, honestly. But anyway, them. so... T- hate them. Today's episode, uh, if you saw recently, the first, like, uh, the Ferdu did a stream where they announced what's happening this year and introduced myself and Sky as the guests of honor. Whoop, whoop. Uh, because Magic and Adler the Eagle could not make it, I'm afraid. Damn you, COVID. Sad. It's very sad. Damn you, COVID. Yeah, even though Magic's in Australia, she's not well, apparently. So that was still very sad as well. We've still got to take care. Like, yeah. th- for Magic to come over from Western Australia, at the moment, if the, if the restrictions re- remain the same, she'd have to come over here two weeks early quarantine for two weeks i don't think wa is in our quarantine list at the moment i think it's only um victoria at the moment i think wa oh, maybe, can yeah. wa can come and go i don't know if we can go to wa though no that's a yes so at, 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 at least on the way back then she yeah, has to quarantine, quarantine for, two, for weeks. two weeks so it's it's a big ask to come over here for a weekend and then go back and then spend two weeks locked up doing nothing so yeah let alone having to pay for it yeah yeah, that's what sucks about hotel quarantine is you have to pay for it as hotel rates. It's not like rental rates either. But for the, for those of you out there who are looking forward to Magic and Adler being guests of honor, they'll they'll be coming back next we're year. We're sorry to disappoint you. Yeah, we're, we're the B-listers. We're the ones who are here now. Yeah, so yeah, you just have to saddle. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> how do you? How does that make you feel though? Like, um, is this your first guest of honor spot? Yeah, it is. Um, does it feel like a little bit diminished because we are the replacements? Um, no, I mean, I'm still honoured to be chosen, and there's lots of other talented people in Queensland that could have been chosen as well. So there's still that honour associated with it, of course. But, um, and you know, I feel like picking two people from Queensland was a good, smart idea, because even if all of the borders close and we can still have events... Yeah, Queensland then, only con. Then, you know, it'll be make sure that they do have guests of honour. So it makes <laughs> sense. It so- makes logistical sense. But that's what I still appreciate it very much, and I'm certainly going to be trying to give this my all. So, wh- what you? Oh, of course, hundred percent. What did you do when Foxy told you? Um, I just got very excited. I was just keen. I'm like, Foxy, thank many thank. Though you already knew. I did. I, I so knew. You got I, leaked. I knew a few days earlier. Um, mainly because I, I well, I, I live with someone who's kind of works with photos, so. They were like, hey, hey, guess what? That is like, yeah. They actually asked me. They're like, hey, um. They're, ask, they're asking, would you want to be guest of honor this year? I'm like, yeah. Yeah. All right. We're, 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 we're gonna we're gonna ask Sky as well, but we haven't we haven't asked her yet. I'm like, okay, I won't say a word. Yeah, fair enough. And then Foxy <laughs> was like, hey, the thing is, I think I think during the time, like, I, I hate just getting random messages from people out of the blue, like really vague <laughs> ones. Like, you know how somebody messages you and goes, so, 
and then starts typing a paragraph uh, and you see that message and you're like <laughs> 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 like and i think at the time there must have been some kind of drama going on or something but is this a, and foxy's like hey can i ask you something and i'm like <laughs> I was like, oh my god, did I do something wrong? Like, You're the worst person in the world, Sky. Of course you, you did something wrong. Oh, clearly, obviously, I must have done. You're I must banned have breathed, from Furdu. Breezed inappropriately and all of a sudden, <laughs> banned. Ban Hammer, gone. Hashtag banned from Furdu. Hashtag, hashtag banned from Furdu. <laughs> F. Oh, goodness. So, um, as a guest of honour, this is so your first time. Yeah. Do you know what's... Exp for those of you out there who are interested, uh, this is what I'm going to talk about for a little bit. Uh, guests of honor, the responsibilities, the benefits, the, the pros and cons. So, do you know what's expected of you at Guests of Honor this year? Um, as, I, as we kind of discussed before, to mainly give a shit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Essentially. To um, put a bit more effort into the con. Because a, a, a part, part of being Guests of Honor is essentially the convention is paying for you to be there. Yeah. You don't get paid directly, but you get a free hotel room, mm. uh, free flights. Generally, it varies from con to con what you get. Yeah. But at Ferdu, we're getting a free hotel room. We're getting uh, super sponsor rego. Super sponsor rego for mm. free. Uh, and if we were like Magic and Adler, they're getting the, you know they they're this, getting their, their yeah. travel paid for next year. And we still get um, two free dinners. Yeah, we do. We get uh, yeah, we get the uh, uh, the super sponsor dinner and the staff dinner before staff dinner. Yes. Yeah, so that'll be a lot, that'll be really exciting. I'm really keen for those specifically. I think. So that's yeah, really de cool. depending how far they're sending you, that they're grabbing you from, uh, it can cost a fair bit of money. So make sure if you ever ask to be guest of honor, give back. Okay. Please give back. Do God. do your thing for the con. I mean, you're there to have fun, but you're also there to be to help and be part of the con. You are an attraction. Mm hmm You are the one bringing people in. So, yeah, you know, how many panels are you doing? I'm doing two. Which one today? Um, we're doing our panel. The YouTube panel, yeah. The YouTube panel. And I'm also going to do a first it making panel, though I think I'm going to do it a bit differently. I think I'm going to do it as a forum style, so people ask questions and we can discuss them. And hopefully people will actually be able to learn something, because I feel like in most first it making panels, you don't actually learn much in an hour. Yeah. Because it's hard to teach you enough in an hour, so. So have, have you done them before? Um, I've done a first it making panel before. I was on one with Sparky and Remy and Luke. We all kind of got together and Maria yeah. and everybody. Yeah. We all kind of went down for that panel and just talked about stuff, um, but it just it's just hard to kind of be, teach people something that they'll remember and take away in that time. So I think I'm just gonna pretty much be like, I'm here, I know stuff. Please ask me things. We'll go from there. Well, on, on that's not a bad way to go. I mean, mm. good to see how it goes, and then you can Hopefully. at least decide for the future. Yeah. Because we we've run panels before. Like yeah. When when you start to get kind of involved and known in the community for what you do, like you for first making your YouTube videos, yeah. me just for my YouTube videos, um, you, you you like to get involved and do do the panels yeah, anyway. Yeah, definitely. Like even if we weren't guests of honor, we which, were still going to run it. We still had panels going. Yeah, for sure. Last time though, <laughs> e e e e e e e e e e e. Do you remember that? We were teaching how to set up OBS Streamlabs. Oh uh, yeah, I and do. I do recall that. And it was connected to my um, Streamlabs account. Uh huh. And then Bolt decided to donate. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> and so live on the in the middle of the panel, you just hear, bling. Bolt, why are you doing this to us? Uh, Bolt in the room back behind us. Um, I'm filming on location at Sky's house. Yeah. Bolt in the distance. Oh, if you can hear that. Sky just moved. How's it moved on? Yeah, good. Settling in well. The gremlin has settled in well the as gremlin. well. gremlin! He's, he's asleep on the spinning oh, chair. I want to grab him. No, he, 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 he seriously, like, he's not a lap cat. Like, he will come up on the bed and say hello to me and let me pat him, like, twice and then, like, lay out of my arm's reach. Uh. Specifically. But he'll touch me. Like, he'll lean on me and stuff, but he just doesn't want pats. <laughs> so he's not really a lap Damn cat, bangles. which is very disappointing. But no, the move's gone well. The new fur room's setting up. I'm getting used to having a bit less space than I am That's used to. I've only just realised now, it's the end of February. Mm -hmm. That's like, does that mean so nearly March? That means there's two months until Ferdu. Please don't remind me. <laughs> Well, you said before you had a whole bunch of suits to get done, so... Yeah, no, I'm literally like, I've got to finish this suit. I'm waiting for my 3D printer to come back from the shop because the shop flooded. So I haven't oh, had my no. printer for like a month and a half. Um, so I can't do any more work, but I'm literally waiting for that to get back. And then I'm basically head down, ass up in work. Like, <laughs> there's no there's no stopping me. I'm going to be literally going from dawn until dusk. Keep in much. mind there, guys. She said in work, okay? Ugh, I hear in my mouth. <laughs> 
Um, that, that, that brings me to a new point. So, as someone who is a fursuit maker, yes. Um, I mean, you have fur in your mouth all the time, don't you? Yep. But hair is a little bit longer and a bit oh, more. You could, oh, so your hair got in your mouth. My hair got in my mouth, yeah. You can see your hair sticking out yeah, of the side of your head. I'm lazy. It's be I'm I'm like already exhausted. I've already been working for like six hours, so I'm like zonked. Well, thank you for taking the time today. <laughs> of course, <laughs> of course. I was going to be working in front of the four anyway, so oh, it should be right. Yeah. Well, when I when I got here, you were building a chair. I was. That's because I've been <laughs> waiting for like a week for that. I was like, yes, chair. So with, with um again big big thing being your first guest of honor spot. Yes. Uh, what are you most excited about? Um, I'm just excited to have that experience. What, um, what are you expecting? I'm not necessarily going in expecting anything. Even though, like, I'm intensely busy and I've got a lot to do, I'm still going to try my best to take out the time. And, you know, I kind of I can't keep making a joke that, you know, I don't want to be the kind of guest of honour that shows up, does their panel and is never seen again. Yeah. Type, you know, I don't want to rock up, do kind of a eh, panel and then, like, you know, go up, oh, I'm being paid for a free holiday, I'm going to go have a free holiday. Ha ha ha. And a lot of people do that, you know. And, that's, like, that's how, around and whoop -a -hoo. That's exactly how you don't get invited back to Guests of Honor spots. Because I'll tell you one thing, con chairs talk, all right? They, um, after conventions, the, the other con chairs around... I wonder if they have a group chat. Hmm? I wonder if they have, like, a con chair group chat. I wonder if they do too. <gasps> Chiro! The sun has emerged. Um, but yeah, so I, I know that con chairs around Australia, around the world, all talk to each other so mm. if you're invited to guests of honor and you just half ass it you just fart ass around just shit. stay in your room party with your close friends and then just come down to your panel and that's all that's it other cons are going to hear about that and, and you're talk. never going to get invited again they'll talk and so i've decided that i don't want to do that and i want to give as much as i can because whilst it is it is worth noting that conches do talk to each other so you want to kind of give it a year old and you know it's my home con so yeah the probably main motivation for giving it my all is because it's the one of the main cons that I attend and I love the people who run it and I love the people there. So I keep making a joke that my guest of honour position is, yes, Foxy, of course, Foxy. Anything <laughs> you'd like, Foxy. So that that's... How high, Foxy? How high, Foxy, exactly. So like I'm like, everything. I'm like, yes, of course, yep, I'll be there. The bell's on. Awesome, let's but go. Let's do it. Let's be honest here. Who in this world doesn't like Foxy. It's true. Who in this world wouldn't do anything for Foxy? It's true. It's true. Foxy's grandmother. Absolute great bean. Amazing con chair. She's of the grandmother do. of the con. She's a grandmother of Australian fairies. 100% she is. Everyone We're not loves saying her you're this. old, Foxy. <laughs> <laughs> We're not saying you're old. That's saying in regardless. <laughs> We're not saying you're old. We're saying you're a weird mother figure for the fandom. <laughs> But yeah, I, I got to admit, like when I when I heard about it, like it took me by surprise too. Yeah, like, I was like, oh. oh. Thank okay. you. I mean, I, I see the logistics behind it, mm. um, and I'm kind of like, well, of course I'm happy to help out. I'll help out regardless, because I love fur, dude, my home con. Um, I've always offered helping out with, you know, videos. Yeah. Just volunteering, like helping run panels. Like, the first panel I did, um, I was assisting Jet. You know Jet Dingo? Yes, of course, I know Jet. <laughs> As um, he, he was presenting the My First Furcon panel. Mm, and you were the, you were the dummy first suit. I was, I was the helper. And it was just really, really... Um, I felt bad for him a little bit because generally when you're presenting the My First Furcon panel mm. uh, and they have a first suit there with you, they, they show you how dangerous it is, how first sitting can be. Yeah. Because limited vision, all that kind of stuff. Um, so Jet did his regular thing. It's like, look, I'm going to put my hand up. Forks, you tell me when you can see it. And because my vision is, like, mind-blowingly amazing in this suit, it's still limited, but it's really, really good compared to a lot of other fursuits. He's like, he put his hand up, like, way out of sight, thinking I couldn't see it. Like, Jet, I, I, I could see that. He's like, what? But, yeah. <laughs> um, I should have told you before, but my, my vision's actually really good. I'm not a good example for this. <laughs> Why are you up on stage? Then? like... I wanted to be on stage. I'm sorry. God damn it, Jet. <laughs> Let me have my moment. Now, my experience with Jet was um, when it was my first ever convention. I was, I was seven. I was sixteen, turning seventeen, halfway through the convention. Oh, back when Ferdy was all ages. Yeah, it was the Jurassic Park one. Ah, uh, yeah. And it was the, the last year. It was all ages. Yeah, the all age con. And I wasn't a furry, and my friend had convinced me to come there and do volunteering hours for my um, high school degree that I was doing. Okay. And so I was like, you know what, I'm, you know, I'm currently running the school's lighting and tech system. I'll volunteer for Ferdy's lighting and tech system. I'm genuinely shocked Jet did not kill me. <laughs> What'd you do? Well, nothing. 
it's Jet one. Yeah. I'm, 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 I was a 16 year old girl who thought she knew everything. I mean, you're what? Uh, how you're how you're old? How many years old now? I'm 21 now. You're, now so now you're just, the only thing that's changed is the number. You're a 21 year old girl who knows everything. Well, I don't. Well, I don't think I know as much as I do anymore. <laughs> Honestly, I probably know a lot less now, arguably. But I was like, you know. I just wanted to touch everything and I wanted to see how everything worked. And he was like, please don't breathe on my equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Jet, Jet does baby his equipment a bit. I mean, right? fair enough. He owns it. So he does, yes. That's, and that's valid. He, he's good at what he does. And I think I had a photo of my friend who was also volunteering with me in Jet's sunglasses. I don't know if you know Jet's sunglasses. They're like these little ones that he always wore and he always had with him. And he just left it on the lighting desk once. And we were running one of the like comedy panels. We just had to run mics or whatever. Yeah. And my friend just taps me on the shoulder and he's wearing them. And I'm like, dude, do you want to get us killed? <laughs> Jet sunglasses. I don't think Jet would have actually cared though. That's Realistically. Right. Well, we got Boxer now. Boxer's in charge of audio. Boxer is in charge of audio Boxy, now. we love you, Boxy. We do. Bo Boxer will be a future guest of mine. A future guest, okay. A future guest. Oh, they said future guest of honor. And I'm like, no, what? A what, future why? guest of mine on this show. Okay, okay. All right. Um, because I'm, I'm going to do one about photography and all that mm, kind of stuff. Good, and good, Boxer, good he's, he's the guy I know who does that best. Mm. I mean, I know there's a lot of good photographers out there, and um, a lot of people want to get into photography or video making. So I'm going to yeah. try, I'm going to try and get as many guests on as I can that kind of let people learn. Like, this is just chill. I don't know if it's going to be a good series, a bad series. If people are going to love it, hate it. I'm going to get ten views or a million. I this is something I want to do personally. Fair enough. It's, yeah, it's, that's, that's important, honestly, when there's, making content. There's, there's so much I, I want to share about the fandom, but mm. I don't know those things very well, so I want to get those guests on that do. You should have a chat to Sherbet about his um, current video series he's making. The anime one? D not the anime one. Um, he's doing a series where he sends... It's, where it's Sherbet, the character, not... Yeah, 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 yeah. Goes and does all these crazy things. Oh like, yes, I have yeah. seen that. Yes. So he's recently released a sumo wrestler one. Oh wow. But the thing is, is of course with COVID he can't actually get over there. Yeah. So he's have has a stunt man <laughs> in Sherbet, and you can kind of tell. Oh yeah, you can. You I, can I saw tell. The, the, the karate one. It's like, yeah, I know Sherbet has yeah, suit. That, he can't move that that's way. That's not Sherbet. He <laughs> cannot move that way. Not I love you a bit, Sherbet, but um, you, I know you can't move that way, buddy. But <laughs> if, if you can, I honestly. And I could tell that the. From a first and maker's perspective, I could tell that the fur the wearer had a longer neck than Sherbet did. Okay. Because the suit looked a lot longer, and I was like, eh, <laughs> "Long boys." What's going on? I really like the series, though. It's, I'm really looking forward to seeing yeah. more of it. So well, you'll be I, an interesting one to talk to. Um, given the fact that this is, you know, I, I like to do in-person guests, but mm. thank thankfully because of VR chat and all this kind of stuff, I'm gonna also have uh, international guests as well. That'll be good. So I can set up a camera in VR chat. And just like find a nice world that has a nice background, and just have a like VR chat avatar interview, and hopefully find some cool stuff to do in VR chat. For, yeah, I mean fun. that that's good. There's a lot of stuff to do in VR chat. So I've, I've been thinking about the series for a long time. Yeah. Uh, so I finally got off my ass to get it done. I, I apologize to all my fans out there who've been like, "Where's your content for?" Because I'm sorry, COVID's really depressed me, and a lot, <laughs> most of my content. Of well, your content you could do any time. You know your videos. Yeah. You, you do tutorials. Um, Random shit, well, essentially. Here, most of my content was about you know going out in a suit, going yeah. into going into public, interacting. I reckon nowadays, like since COVID's pretty much back to normal, well, relatively normal. Where we are. Where we are, yeah. For those the rest of the world who are still struggling with it, we we do wish you the best. We hope it guys starts to clear oh, up yeah, soon. Oh yeah, no, for sure. Like yeah, the the vaccine is starting to roll out, so hopefully. Oh. Hello. Oh, 20 minutes already. 20 minutes up. I was gonna reset the recording. One second. So yeah, uh, sorry for that. Uh, just had to. The camera is on a twenty-minute timer, so we have to it's stop. So stupid. I don't know why stop cameras do this. Uh, it annoys me too, but God, it's a good camera. I yeah. love it. But yeah, uh, I personally, like, and all of the, everyone here hopes that you know, the vaccine is effective. Hopefully, it, it knocks it in the butt, and we can get back to a regular life because travel would be nice. Travel would be good. Conventions starting back up again. Approximately 10 hours later. I'll probably cut this out because it's just, I, I don't want to get too political. Yeah, no, well, we can change change subject. All right, <laughs> change subject. But anyway, hope COVID gets better. Love you all. Definitely. And hopefully, you know, we can get some more foreigners back over here for Ferdu soon and we can go overseas again. Like, I want to go to JMOF. You went to JMOF last year. I did. Oh, oh topic change. Oh, shit. <laughs> I want to go to JMOF. JMOF is good. JMOF is very weird though, but you, you you lived in Japan, so you probably wouldn't be too weird for you. I still loved it. Yeah, I mean, it's still weird. It's, 
Japan's a weird country, but it I love is. It. But did you ever do like business meetings at all when you were doing and being an ALT? Did what? Did you ever do like business events when you were assistant language teacher? Like, what do you mean a business event? Like where you had to go and exchange business cards and stuff like that. Oh no, but we were told about them. Yeah, the entire convention is that. Just changing. Oh. So literally, like this is you know you walk up, so you first student spots you, you spot a first student, then you start to that mutual understanding to interact and you're like ah oh, konnichiwa you know you do watashi you know osakai desu ah oh, you know sakura desu ah oh. and then you go ah oh, memeshi desu and you present the business card with two hands you know the pr- traditional way you present it with two hands you and accept you the business card and you study it like you've discovered the lost treasure of agrabah yep yep <laughs> and then you've got to put it somewhere safe because you can't just shove it down your back pocket because it's seen as an extension of yourself and you don't want to shove someone's extension down your back pocket so you put it somewhere safe, usually with your handler, or people have like little bags yeah. that they put them in, and then you present yours, and you go, "My mesh, this," and they're like, "Ah, oh, oh yeah." And then, and then the photographer shows up out of nowhere and goes, "Up, ah, oh, just in this height, height," and they go, "Itch ni san chizu," <laughs> which Jap- you hear about sixty different times in a day. Japan, I love you, but why? I love it. I, I love like, it too. In that cabinet behind the camera, I have like a big pile of business cards from people. Oh wow. Like literally, I, I heard about this like when I was chatting with the Japan first before I came. So I got Japanese business cards made so yeah. I could actually go around and exchange them. And then Bolt forgot all of his, so <laughs> exchanged the English ones instead. Um, well, there you go. A little bit of extra knowledge. If you go to Japan for JMOF, bring business cards about you slash your suit. Yes, and bring a big thing to put them all in because a normal business card holder is not going to cut it. Yeah. I printed business cards. I got to reprint. Like, I'll, the old idea I had, you remember those business cards? Oh. I, they, I, I printed business cards with a hole punch thing at the end. Oh, yeah. And I had them hanging off my collar. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I do so remember. I, I carry them around. So people can rip them off. And people are just like, oh, I'll just grab one. Yeah. I'm not sure that would go well in Japan, though. No, I don't <laughs> think so either. I think they're, they're very much a, I'm not going to invade your personal space. Yeah. Hugging is still a thing, though. I, I hope so. The, the first fandom is very huggy. Yeah, but Japan itself isn't really huggy. Yes, I am like aware could, of that. You could say Australia is pretty, like, huggy in terms of culture, but Japan isn't. And I was really worried, like, when I went over there. Like, it's definitely not as, like, I'm going to run up behind you and crash tackle you, kind of like oh, people will do in Australian and American conventions, but there's definitely still, like, there's still that kind of interaction there, which I think is nice. So, let's cover a bit more. We've, we've covered a lot of the cons. I, I, mm. I hope there's enough about Guess of Honor stuff there as yeah. well. So. Again, just wrapping that up before we go on to a little bit more than wrap up the wrap, wrap up the episode. But um, okay. so, guess of honors, just give a shit about the con, do your part. Definitely. I remember like there was one thing I wanted to say before, but I forgot until now. Um, when I was over at uh, Fur Out West for my first guess of honor spot, um, I tried to get as involved as possible, and the, the con runners loved it. Um, I even like put I messaged the, the Telegram group saying, "Guys, I'm going to be here in suit in the photograph area for the next hour." If you want to get a photo with me, come on down. So you just do those little things. They notice and they pick up on it. And they're like, oh, well, that obviously people come and come down, get photos of the guests of honor. Just do your part. You are an attraction. Yeah, just be you. And get involved. Yeah. Like, Meet the people. Yeah, I, I spent a lot of my time out in the public areas just sitting there. And people come up and say, hey, and we'd have a bit of a chat. And you know, I, I will say normally at a corner, I don't normally do that. But I honestly enjoyed it. Good. It's a good, good way to meet new people. I mean, for this most of photo, I'll be at my dealer's den table. There you go. If you want to find Sky Photo, <laughs> dealer's den. Go buy our stuff. I'll be trapped. Except for Saturday when I've decided to give myself a little bit of reprieve. <laughs> I'll, find, I'll find somebody to cover the table. Go it's buy all the stuff. If, if you want to find me, I'll be probably filming something or just drunk. Or drunk, yeah. No, that sounds about right. Photo <laughs> is party con. It is. Photo is the OG party con. If you haven't been to Photo, guys, if you're an international fur watching this and you want to find a good international con, I recommend Photo. I mean, um, one of our American friends came over and they just described Photo as, damn, Aussies know how to party. <laughs> I mean, that was the same convention that we noticed that they were like three fours beneath us and threw pizza over the balcony. Oh, uh, that one. I remember that. Yeah, and then they came up really drunk. There are some good stories of things being thrown over the balcony at Photo. Oh, God, the balconies. I mean, I... For love of God, stop throwing shit off the balconies, guys. Oh. There's some quality stories about balconies, isn't there? Yes, 100%. Oh, God. I have, I have one of them screenshotted and saved to my computer. Like, <laughs> if you know, go, if you're watching this at home and you know, you know. You know. <laughs> you know. 
20, we all know. 2017 was a wild con. <laughs> yeah. Good times. It was. It was good. I'm looking forward to this year. I'm so hyped. I missed, missed photo last year, sadly. Obviously, we all did. Mm. It's good to be back and hope the world rejoins us soon. Yeah, hopefully. Please come to Australia. We'd love to meet you. And, you know, say hi. I love seeing international furs at cons because it's like, oh, somebody who's not Aussie. Woo! That's and always very exciting. So, something I discovered, um, like last photo, 2019 photo, mm-hmm. um, a bunch of Americans came over. They came over in like a big group. Yeah, there was a bunch of them. We had my friend Patches come over and we had Ascari come over. And we yeah, had... Ascari, Goni. Mm. Um, and the cool thing was, like a few of the people that came over were, fur, were loop suiters. Um, you find, if you, when you get a fursuit, whoever your maker is, you kind of join their family. Yeah. And it's, it's a great community of, you know, oh, you're, you, 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 you know. You have a suit too. You recognize the, 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 the style of the maker. Mm. And you, you suddenly immediately have something to talk to. It's like the it's Spider-Man like, meme. Yeah. You're pointing. It's like, ah, then you, you have a chat. It's like, you know, I, I've known Goni for a long time. But that's kind of like mm. one of the first times I've probably met him. Yeah, properly. And it was no, I normally I'm a bit anxious talking to new people. But you were like, right, hit but it off right away? I'm like, oh my god, Goni! We're both loop suiters, yeah! It's like, oh, Fox! I mean, it's, it's so good. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think it's a bit weird for me because I don't... I, I am the maker. <laughs> so you're, it's you're like... The, you're the mum. I'm the mum, yeah, but I also feel like some people feel like kind of intimidated. <laughs> and I'm like, no, please, Look, I'm not scary, I promise. The intimidation thing goes... Like, I feel that way too. People, mm. people are shit scared of me. I, I don't know. You're, 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 a, you're a five foot nothing. Little, I, I like weigh little, little like bean. 50 kilos. Yeah. Like I couldn't, I can't, I can barely lift and she, anything. She beats me up. She scares me, okay? I'm not intimidating and she's not intimidating, but you know, I'm less than her. No. Stop being afraid of us. No. I think, <laughs> I think there's kind of this like, like I fucking hate the term, but pop you furs. Yeah. Even though I wouldn't necessarily class either of us as that. Yeah. Um, in the grand scheme of things, like we we are known, but I don't. Well, think I I, I hate the term there. as well. I think we're we're a little bit different. Like we gained our renown just for doing what we love. It it wasn't something we sought after actively. Yeah, but the thing is, sometimes I don't feel like a lot of people start out that way either. Like I don't think people necessarily actively seek it, but then you kind of get addicted to the high. Yeah. Because like there is a high, and you can't. Ad- you can't deny that there is a high. I involved. don't at all. I, you I, don't feel the high. No, I, I, no, I, I don't disagree. No, you don't disagree. Um, there was a, a, a definite period of time in there where I was all about the numbers. Oh my god, my, my subscrib- subscribers have exploded. It, that's all it became about. Hmm. And it took me a good year to get over that and just get back to doing what I love again. And the thing is, though, like if you don't do it for passion and for actually wanting to do it, then it becomes a chore. Uh. And then you kind of get like the content, almost content farmy stuff. Like, I make videos that really in, that I really enjoy, but I also make videos that I don't enjoy to get the weekly video quota going. Um, and that it's, it's hard when it kind of becomes a job that you're being supported with on Patreon and stuff like that, where you got to kind of like, oh shit, I got to do a video this week. Oh fuck it, I'll do another Q and A. You know? Yeah. Without because it's like I have because YouTube's not my main job. I have like all my work to do as well. So it's kind of a, if I'm doing a different video, it's when I sit out and write for a couple hours and then film. But sometimes I'm just like, I don't have time <laughs> and I don't have the inspiration to do it either. But you also have a Patreon as well. And you, have, to, you have different tiers as well. That you have to keep I up do. on all this stuff you, you've promised people. I do. See, um, I used to have that as well. I still have a Patreon, but I used to have different tiers. But as someone who just makes videos and mm. just does it for the love of it, um, I found I really couldn't keep up with the demand. So what I did... I mean, you know, again, I have a full-time job elsewhere, so yeah, it's yeah. not my main income. Uh, I just, what I did is I gave people an opportunity to support me, but if they want to. It's, I had one tier, it's one dollar a month. You have the option to give more if you want to, but if you would just, dollar a month, that's what? Yeah. Two, three cents a day, if you, if you want to. You get your name on any videos I make. I have no schedule anymore because it's just, it stressed me out, it burnt me out. Yep. But I'm trying to get back into it now because this is something I want to do. This is something I'm passionate about. I have the incentive to go and do it every couple of weeks. Like, boom, here's something to interview. Let's do this, let's do this yeah, podcast. Yeah, things that you actually want to do. I love it. And it get, gets good information out there, good stories mm. about our history. People get to know new furs. Cause I'm, it isn't go, I, I'm not going to go and interview all the poppy furs like Sky here. 
I am not. You're 100% Bobby. No, I'm not. You're I'm bigger than me. No, I'm de-heading, by the way, because I might, like... Fair enough. All right. Hold on. Ah. The bog witch emerges. Oh. Da 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 da. <laughs> 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 Poor bolt. Oh. Um, but yeah, so basically, I, I'm going to interview as many oh. people as I can, honestly. If, if they have something important to share that I feel mm. is good for the fandom. Hi, Bolt. Hi, Bolt. Okay, eat grab food. the grab the cat and bring him over here. Really? On the chair. We got we got we got to meet Chiro. Huh? He's 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 keeping it warm for me. We have a Chiro. Give me the sun. The prodigal sun. Hello. Hello, Chiro. Why are you leggy? <laughs> High five. Why are you leggy? Hmm? You wanna say something, Chiro? He's like, no, I wish to leave. Right now, thank you. <laughs> Aww, he's, he's a good man. Instantly, like I wish to be gone. Thanks. <laughs> so that, that's 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 the Chiro boy. He's a good boy. He's a good man. I love him very much. But yeah, uh, what were we saying? Um, you want to? Oh, actually doing shit that you enjoy. Yeah. Um. So hopefully this gets back into it. And if you want to check out my Patreon, there'll be a link down below. It's one dollar a month. More if you wish. You get your name on all my videos and I access up to five hundred dollars in tears. Huh? I have up to five hundred dollars in tears. What does your five hundred dollar tier give you? Um, mini partial, mini partial Q spot upon second month of pledging. So a thousand dollars for a mini partial. Yeah, but it's artistic liberty. Uh... So there is a certain discount there, but and the thing is, is well, they that's, usually that's, that's, they that's... usually hang around for a bit longer than that because it gets you like shitloads of other stuff. So. Well, check out Skies as well. Link link to hers down below too, and her channel I'm as suffering. well. Uh, Sky, like I said, is bigger than me. Sub wise, you ever took me what a year ago? Yeah, though I think I know why that was, and I'm not too proud of why. But we won't talk about why. Wait, that could be a that could be a number of things. I'll, I'll tell you after. Okay, but um, <laughs> I'll tell you what. Oh, I can tell you because you can edit it out. That's staying in. Huh? I, I got it on record now. That's staying in. No, it is not, Hawks. <laughs> I don't wish to die, thanks. I'm gonna, but, um, I'm, okay, I'll leave it in, but I'll beep it out so people have no idea what you said. Yeah, except for <laughs> the deaf people who can lip read. <laughs> Chiro, oh. uh, 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 no cable for you. Aww. Denied. Denied. You have been stopped. Poor Chiro. Um, um, but, but yeah, <laughs> there could be that, but I don't know. I honestly have been pretty lax the past year. Like I said, COVID hasn't really knocked me out, but I still love doing what I do. I love the fandom, and I want to give out, put out more good information, more just good content and meet new people and mm. um speaking of which that reminded me I, I forgot to mention this before another another segment i wanted to do in each episode was um have my guests share an artist or thing they like mm. to get more exposure for people out there well oh, now so i gotta pick what's, what's your favorite kind pick. of furry artist or youtube channel or something that you feel that a lot of people uh, not enough people know about an artist or a, a subgenre um just Something in this fandom, like someone in this fandom that you feel deserves a bit more attention. I mean, Toxie Divine always forever. Toxie? Um, Toxie always deserves more Toxie's attention. Toxie's a good bean, I know her. Um, and Magic as well. They're Tox the two people that mainly come to my mind when All I right. think about artists that need more love. I'm going to include their links down below as well. And on screen, probably put up a couple of their pictures and their artworks. So I'll try and have... Two it. very different styles. Toxie, very, very different, different, different styles. Style. <laughs> Toxie and Magic. Toxie's very retro, isn't she? Toxie is. She's got like that kind of oldie, old-timey looking things and her style's really detailed and a bit more kind of mature because yeah like, like i said I, that re reminded me because i'm like you know about to, about to wrap it up and yeah like, yeah i i want to just talk about and get more people out there knowing just some good stuff that they might not know about so mm. good to know that you know toxic and magic check yeah, them out guys if i would think of literally anybody um and i guess just to wrap this up let's did you have a good think about what meme you like um i actually the spider-man memes are always a quality one so what you want to get a photo of us doing this? The which which Spider Man? I mean the behind the desk? No, the the <laughs> um the when you like see the two Spider Mans are pointing at each other. Oh yeah. All I don't right. know why, like, because it works in so many different circumstances. And it's probably one of the ones I reference the most. All right. So how 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 can we make that into a meme that I could put up on screen? Because they are the, the same. Do you have like two? Um, maybe do you have like a uh, another sky suit that I could put on or bulk to put on? Oh, we'll do it. <laughs> She's gone now. Can you hear me in stereo? That's probably way blown out. Oh my god, it's so blown out. 
Oh my god, what? That's this is Sky One, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god, what happened to the nose? I ripped it off to use it for something else, and then ended up chucking it because I hated it. <laughs> Um, well, I guess we'll, what we'll do is we'll recreate a photo. We'll get Paul to take a photo, and I'll put it at the end of the video, at the end of the video. Yep. And I'll share it, share it on my share it on my Twitter. Yep. Um, wow, you come a long way. I'll tell you. Thank that you. Much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Fair enough. But hey, for those of you out there who want to do um, suit making, I will be interviewing. Um, I, I'm doing an episode purely like focusing on suit making in the future. So keep an eye out for that. Loop. But, Probably, yeah. Yeah. Um, we all start somewhere. So, Sky, you've seen her suits now. They're immaculate. They're amazing. This is where she started. So, Mick yikes. You know, you gotta still start got tape in the mouth. You, you do. <laughs> you you got you to start somewhere, guys. So, just don't ever give up. If you love something, you do it and you will learn and get better and boom, you'll become... And then have a cursed moment on your shelf for the rest of the time. Yeah, pretty much. Got to remember where you come from. So, that's why the only sole reason I haven't gotten rid of her. Yeah. OG Sky, dear. See, I have no talent. I can't make suits. I, I made a tail once. You could probably crack out something better than that. I guarantee. You. Don't worry. I'll just, if you have like a suit, your um, another suit you've made, and be like, you know, when when you see, I'll I'll have the tag when you when you see another um. All right, I got it. Been left. When you see another suit that's um in that, that with this, by the same maker. And then you just yeah. have the pointing thing. So that'll be the meme, guys. Keep that's a good one. It. That's a good one, actually. I like it. Yeah. So that, that, keep an eye out. Share it everywhere. And Sky, thank you so much for this. You I, are welcome. Any 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 uh, tips or advice for um, doing this in the future? Because again, this is the first one. Doing this show. Yeah, doing this show. Um, what what can I do going forward? Um, do you think it went well? Yeah, I mean, it'll be interesting to see how it's received. I yeah, think I'm, that, I'm that, curious. That'll too. be good too. Um, I mean, the, the the whole point of this was also just do what you love. Yeah. So if you if you're still enjoying doing it, then yeah, keep, I, cra I, keep I, cracking on. I had a great time, honestly. Like just sitting here. I hope you guys what who watched this far through just enjoyed yourself too. Got some good stories out of it. We can barely shut up when we're in each other's <laughs> presence anyway. <laughs> That's why it was a good start because I thought Sky Sky and I we banter, we bounce a lot. We I think chat. I think it annoys people sometimes. Yeah. They're like, oh, I'd like to chat to you too, and me and Fox are just in the corner like. <laughs> 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 is that gonna be is that gonna be beep too? Yeah. <laughs> oh Jesus. Okay. I'll figure it out. I'll go through it later. All right. But again, this is gonna be mostly unedited. Yep. I've got to, I'll cut out that bit in the middle, blur some stuff, and put some stuff up on screen. That's it. Is that cool? And that's another reason why I like the content. It should be pretty easy. We should to wrap do. up before your sixty seconds is up. That's all right. I just I noticed before it actually goes to thirty minutes. Cool. I oh think. yeah, yeah, it does. They usually do. Yes. Yeah, My camera does. It is still recording, so it goes to thirty minutes. Mm. Good to know for the future. Anyway, yeah, it Sky. Does um, check out our stuff. Links down below to Patreon, YouTube. Um, give me the links you want me to put down there. I'll put them there. Yeah, just message me, remind me, or I will forget. Um, looking forward to going to photo with you and being yes, guest of honor. It's going to be good. I'm keen doing for our my panels. High ocean view room. Yes. Speaking of which, uh, I'm doing like four panels there, so keep an eye out for me, guys. Uh, we're doing it, including a world record attempt. You will see more of that in the future. And buy my stuff. Yes, buy your stuff. So check I can pay off my rent. Dealer's den. Yeah. Yeah. Did she just moved house? Yep. I want to pay off all of this rent so I can save for an actual house. So. Welcome back to Brisbane. Woohoo. <laughs> anyway, love your faces. Love your fluff butts. Thanks again to our, my guest, Sky. And we'll see you for the next episode. Uh, maybe Foxy or Boxer. Yeah. Because I want to do Foxy and just do, talk about photo. Yeah. We'll yeah, you know, do Foxy. Foxy is a good one. We'll see how we go. Anyway, yeah. keep an eye out. I'll put the meme up on screen now. And we'll see you next time, guys. Bye.